Good evening, I'm Cynthia Orsino. Flooding has been a chronic problem in some areas of Calcasieu Parish, and at last, a drainage first that residents say is already helping. And KPLC's Teresa Schmidt reports it has a recreational component. It's a picturesque place with benches, landscaping, and a three-quarter mile walking path, along with ornamental lighting. But it's not just for recreation. It's a detention basin that will hold excess water from Contraband Bayou during heavy rains. Jennifer Hobbs is the drainage engineer behind the projects. It'll hold about 60 million gallons. It'll hold about seven and a half football fields worth of water, one foot deep. Some residents who have suffered through years of street flooding and even water in their homes have already noticed an improvement. Calcasieu Parish engineer Nicholas Johnson says it was designed to handle a rain event such as the one in May of 2021. The main problem that it it'll, will alleviate is uh, it'll, it'll pull water from the streets, you know, rather than having it overflow the contraband bayou over into people's yards and into the streets. Not only is this detention pond going to take a lot of water off the streets, it's going to open up some recreational opportunities for people. And there were people pretty much banging down the door ready for this thing to open, so we're excited that it is. So landscaping, we planted a bunch of wetlands around here, so that was to attract like some different like native species and some more wildlife, so it'd be some more cool stuff to look at. It's good for water quality as well, so you can see if you're able to go to the contraband bayou side, it's a little bit darker, murkier water, and you'll see it's a lot clearer right here and that's thanks to some of the different plantings and the way that we built the basin. And they say there will be more basins like this one in other areas of Calcasieu Parish. Teresa Schmidt, 7 News. And if you didn't notice that last shot, there's already a gator in the basin, so there's no swimming allowed. The public can visit the facility from dawn to dusk. Parish officials say people in the neighborhood have been anxiously awaiting the opening.